Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So these are the products I'm going to be using today and I'm going to show you how to sculpt an almond nail. Now when you're doing almonds or stilettos or even square or any, any form of sculpting, it really is all in the form and the position and how much you roll it up. Um, if you're doing stiletto, you really want it really tight and pinched. So right now I'm just showing you how to apply that form. You want it so it's flush to the natural free edge. You don't want any gaps. And you want to make, really make it pinch it so it's narrow so that when you're building on top of this, that is the shape your nail is going to become. So once you're happy with that and obviously you've prepped all your nails beforehand, you're just going to go ahead and apply your acrylic. So I'm just going to start and I'm going to build a free edge in clear because I'm going to add some glitter and do like a glitter fade. Now I'm going to go in with CJP Cherry Blossom Blush and I'm just going to apply my nail bed and blend that up towards the tip. Now I'm going in with Diamond Glitter's Pink Diamonds Holographic Glitter. It is just a stunning pink princess. It's just gorgeous. And I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to dip into my clear, dip into my glitter and then just apply it onto the nail that way. just going to cap that in clear to protect my glitter when we're filing. Um, I just want to say as well that I have swapped to my alpha brush today. Um, I have chose the winners for the alpha brush, the student brushes giveaway and I also am going to have a discount code for you so when I do the giveaway tomorrow to tell you who's won, um, I'm also going to have a coupon code for you to go and spend in alpha um, to get 10% off any order and the brushes are super cheap anyway and they are super high quality so make sure you take advantage of that and go and grab yourself a brush because it will only last up for a month and as you can see I'm just applying some very dodgy freehand painting um, I don't normally freehand paint but I just wanted to add something a little bit extra to this nail and venture out a little bit instead of doing the same old, same old.
was happy with where all that artwork is placed, I'll then go ahead and take CJP Tacky Top Coat and Top Coat the Nail. I'll cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my very own cuticle balm. And then that is the finished video. I hope this has helped those who asked me to actually do the almond nail. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the giveaway. Please like this video and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all and then again in my next one. Bye!